from my heart and from my hand why don't people understand my intention good morning guys welcome back to the channel so i think when you left me last i was just fitting the roof liner in the clubman uh, that's glued in place now so now we can focus on uh, other bits and pieces and this morning I just went up to the body shop to pick up the remaining pieces the front doors the rear doors the bonnet but more importantly these window surrounds because now we can actually put in place the rear windows so let's get those into the workshop and uh, continue with that let me just quickly show you this this is all the bits and pieces that go into fitting one side of the window on the clubman uh, the window channels when you buy them they're actually not cut to the correct length so you do have to do some trimming on this now there's definitely an easy way and a hard way to do this as I learnt when I did the other side so I'll try and show you the easy way but the first thing that we've got to do is we have to put we have to rivet on these clips uh, on the top of the window frame <laughs> Okay, so that's my uh, top brackets riveted in place. When you do this, you really have to pay attention to which side you're riveting from because this very first one, you can actually rivet from the front because it doesn't interfere with the window channel underneath. But once you get to this second one, you need to reverse that and rivet from the other side so you've got the smallest part of the rivet on the inside of the car so it doesn't interfere with the window channel. And as you go down each of these, the rest of them are actually done from inside the car as well, just to make sure that you don't get it interference. Okay, so I have fitted my top channel. It just needed a little bit of trimming. And I've also trimmed the bottom channel. The last ones that you're gonna put in are actually the side channels because the window surround actually goes in first and then you put the channel over the top. Now, the easiest way I've found of doing this is to leave the bottom channel unattached. These have got sticky back double-sided tape on them so they're easy to attach later on. If you leave the bottom one loose, you can actually put the glass in now, get that in position so that it actually goes into the channels at the top. Uh, and that just allows it to slide in quite nicely. And then you can put your two side channels in place after you've done the windows around. So uh, let's get the glass. Once you've got the window surround screwed in place, you can actually put in the final last side channels. Make sure that's seated well enough. And then your window can actually go up against it. Just need to do the rear one now, and then that's uh, finished. Hi guys, I just want to stop the video there for a moment and let you know that any um, donations or ad revenue generated by this channel is actually being given towards cancer counselling charities that are helping families that have received a cancer diagnosis get through difficult times. So any help from your side, donations or just watch the video to the end uh, is highly appreciated. 
And, uh, you know, from my side, thank you so much for the support so far. Okay, so that's both of the rear windows in place, which means now we can focus on doing the rear doors. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I want to show you something really exciting because we've actually received the first deliveries of the electric conversion kit. to go actually guys you might have noticed in that previous clip that I was struggling to get this uh, rubber seal on the door and that was mainly because of these uh, little clips now they have a nasty habit of uh, breaking and they need to trap the rubber against the door in order for it to stay in place so I definitely recommend ordering more than you require and I think there's 26 required so order a double pack anyway let's crack on with the other door both doors in place um, I think I'm gonna order a new lock actually because it's rustier than I remembered so I'll do final adjustments uh, when that arrives but in the meantime we should talk about this so guys there's always a point in any project where you get to a certain point and you go yes this is finally coming together and for me it was the delivery of this kit now the guys from electricmini.nl kindly dropped by today and dropped off the first pieces for the electric conversion for the Clubman. And as you can see here, we've got the mounting hardware for the subframe that actually the electric motor connects to. We've got the shifter box and we've got the other electronic components as well as the cable channels and of course a manual. Now we're going to be going into this in a little bit more detail as we go a little bit further down the project, but I just wanted to share that with you today so you can see that the first pieces are starting to arrive. Okay guys, that's it for uh, this week. We've run out of time as usual. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, do all those things that are good for the channel. And remember, any proceeds are going to charity from this channel anyway. So uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.